Welcome to session 1 part 2. In this session, we'll try to understand some basic concepts of mathematics that are important if we have to understand machine learning properly. We may not use all the concepts in the course, but knowing these concepts will definitely help you to understand machine learning in a better way. Please note that this is an introductory course in machine learning and we are not going into derivations of machine learning algorithms. Therefore, only a basic familiarity with the concept presented here should be sufficient. We'll definitely try to understand any new mathematical concept that we may encounter during the course. Mathematics and Machine Learning In our previous discussion, we tried to get an overview of machine learning. Let's try to go a little deeper. At the core of machine learning is the idea that algorithms can learn from experience. And these algorithms are not some random algorithms newly written for every problem, but these are algorithms that have solid foundation in the mathematics. If you look at the tools that are used for machine learning algorithms, you will realize there are only few algorithms that are used most frequently. And most of the work in machine learning is just trying to get the data in a format that is suitable for machine learning algorithm and some modification or tweaking or some combination of basic algorithms. So what branches of mathematics are important for machine learning? Two are most important. One is statistics and second is matrix algebra. Though both are important, statistics plays a critical role in machine learning. In fact, the role of statistics is so important in machine learning that some people call machine learning as statistical learning, which makes sense. Now you might be wondering why statistics is important in machine learning. The reason is simple. We do not expect our machine learning algorithms to be 100% accurate all the time. But we would like to have a decent level of accuracy in the predictions. Let's see what this means. Suppose you have a handwriting recognition software which will be powered by a machine learning algorithm. The way everyone writes the letter P is different. Therefore, we may say even if it can recognize P that is written by 80% of the people accurately, the software is good enough. Let's also see how machine learning is related to some very useful mathematical technique that we have learned in our high school or college, that is curve fitting. Curve fitting is basically trying to fit some data points to a curve. If the data accurately fits to the curve, we can say this curve explains the data and for unknown input, we can predict the output. Basic mathematical concepts used in machine learning are variables, vectors, functions, matrices, probability and statistics. Again, as we are just learning machine learning at the application level, we don't have to go much deeper mathematically. Let's just try to spend few minutes with each of these concepts. Variables. Variable is a basic concept that is taught in high school mathematics. And a variable simply represents a number of unknown value. A variable can be full number like 0, minus 5, 5, or it can be a decimal like 2.3, minus 5.2, etc. Operations that apply for numbers like addition, subtraction, multiplication also apply for the variables. While we are all familiar with such concepts of variables, we may have to represent some other type of variables that cannot be directly or easily converted into numbers. They are called categorical variables. So what is a categorical variable? Categorical variable represents special types of values that can't be easily converted into numbers. Suppose you are doing a customer survey. For a particular question, the possible responses for this question are good, average and bad. If a variable say x holds response for this question, that is, it can store any of these values, good, average or bad, then x becomes the categorical variable. Similarly, we can store colors like red, blue, green in another categorical variable. Such variables are of great importance in statistics and machine learning. We learn more about categorical variables during our discussion on classification problems. Vectors. In high school physics, we learn that vectors as physical quantities that have both magnitude and direction. Examples being force, momentum, acceleration, etc. Energy cannot be a vector. It's just a scalar or simply a number. But we should expand our concept of vectors. In higher mathematics, vector can be thought as a point in a multidimensional space and the direction represented by an arrow from origin to the point. Don't take this as a definition, this is just to help you understand. An important concept about vectors is that it can be resolved into what we call as components. Take a crude example, if you have a point in two-dimensional space, say 3, 4, the vector has 3 units of x-axis and 4 units of y-axis. If we have three components, it becomes a three-dimensional vector. And if we have a vector of n components, it becomes n-dimensional vector. Functions. Functions are most important concepts after numbers in mathematics. We also make use of concept of function in our daily life, knowingly or unknowingly. We know intuitively that time is required to reach from home to office depends on how fast our vehicle moves. In other words, we can say time taken is a function of speed. Similarly, we can say crop yield in a farm is a function of fertilizer used. And how do we represent a function? like this y equals f of x 
which is saying y is a function of x f of x can be anything like sin of x log of x 2x square minus 3x plus 4 etc these functions have just one independent variable we can also have more than one independent variables now there are some situations where we cannot write function very accurately the example just described crop yield as a function of average rainfall see here we cannot probably write an accurate expression like the one we just saw this will be a problem if you want to predict the crop yield beforehand then you will somehow have to approximate the function and this is where the central idea of machine learning comes to approximate an unknown function with the help of the data matrix matrices are basically arrangement of numbers in a tabular format a matrix is usually represented by dimension m cross n that is m rows and n columns if m is equal to n we call it as a square matrix or otherwise just matrix some operations that we do on regular numbers like addition multiplication are applicable on matrices also but we have to be careful as some operations like division may not be applicable transpose of a matrix with same numbers but rows and columns interchanged matrix algebra becomes very important because many a times machine learning involves finding solution to a systems of equations and systems of equations can be represented as matrix and finding solution to systems of matrix would involve matrix manipulations probability we all are aware of the concept of probability in our daily lives and we routinely use words like probably most probable etc in mathematics the concept of probability plays a special role in situations where random events and outputs are involved for example we cannot predict how many customers would come to a particular shop on a particular day or for example we cannot predict what will be the outcome when we toss a coin but we can definitely say what are the chances of a head or a tail we call this chance as probability for example probability of head when coin is tossed is half which is the same for tail probability of outcome 1 when six faced dice is thrown is 1 by 6 in fact it is same for all the outcomes 1 2 3 etc all faces have equal chances the concepts of mathematics and statistics are best learned through examples and problem solving i suggest you please go through example problems and assignments provided to gain good understanding of basic mathematical concepts